Clip Studio Paint has a very useful layer called the Vector layer, which differs greatly from raster layers. This time I will show you how to use it. First, I'm opening the layer menu, click New Layer, and then Vector Layer to create this type of layer. In the layer palette, you can distinguish the layer types by their icons. Just like an ordinary raster layer, you can still draw on it. By selecting a drawing tool, like the pencil, and putting down a line. However, editing and processing lines on a vector layer is done by using dedicated vector editing tools and the object tool. For example, you can easily select and move lines you don't need with it. By using the operations in the tool property palette and checking select multiple by drag, you can select multiple lines at once. You can then scale them up or down and rotate them without deteriorating their quality. Now, let's try inking something on the vector layer. A vector layer can also be created by clicking on the vector layer icon in the layer palette. I will choose a pen and then draw the outlines of the character. Even if there are many protruding lines like in this case, these can be easily erased on a vector layer. After choosing Vector from the Eraser tools and activating Erase up to intersection in the tool property palette, simply draw over the lines that protrude to erase unnecessary parts. As before, you can edit parts of the drawn lines with the object tool or use the control points individually to make corrections. It's also possible to modify the line width. Activate thin width of the correct line width subtool under the correct line tool. With this, you can thin lines just by tracing over specific parts of them. Likewise, if you want a line thicker, activate Thicken Width to make lines thicker by a specified amount. If you want to change the entire line, you can do that with the object tool and after selecting the line to edit, simply change the brush size slider in the tool property palette. Also by clicking the brush shape drop down menu just below that, you can select a different type of brush shape registered with Clip Studio Paint to add texture to the line. You can also register a line with varying strength yourself, so if you have a favorite pen, try registering it. Select your favorite pen and open the Subtool Details palette and brush shape.
the registration is complete when the register all settings to initial settings button is clicked, while the brush shape is selected. The registered brush shape can now be used. Some tools, such as the Field tool, cannot be used on a vector layer. Should you try to use the Field tool, the restriction mark is displayed when hovering over the canvas. For this case, you have to use a raster layer to use the Field tool.